For today's video, we will be talking about Williamson ether synthesis. And for this reaction, we have primary that works, secondary that does not work, favors elimination, and tertiary that has no reaction. And this is when we're reacting with it. And so let's show an example. We always start with an alcohol in Williamson ether synthesis reaction. Always start with an alcohol, and you're going to end up with an ether. So our reagent would be NaOH. And our second reagent will be an alkyl halide group, a carbon attached with a um, halogen element on it. So we would have this for example. There it is. We have another carbon attached to the structure. So we go from alcohol to an ether. So let's do another example here. We have this, right? We, have the, we start with an alcohol, always with an alcohol, reacting with NaO, NaH. NaH is not very good, but we're going to use it anyway. So it's reacting with a primary alkyl halide, right? And this will give us a carbon attached with to the structure. So this is primary, so it works. Let's do another example here. Always start with an alcohol. And we have NaH again. Not very good to use, but we're going to use it for this case. Now here, the second reagent, we have a tertiary carbon. This does not work, so there's no reaction. So now let's do the mechanism. Let's start with this, an alcohol. It's reacting with NaOH, and we have a second reagent for a chlorine, carbon with a chlorine. Okay, so it's primary, so it has to work. In this case, OH comes in, it grabs the hydrogen, kicks it off, and gives it to the electrons to oxygen. Oxygen has a negative charge. Now the chlorine comes in, it grabs the chlorine carbon, kicks off the chlorine, and we would have the structure of OH with a extra carbon with a byproduct of chlorine negative charge. And so this is our final answer. Let's do another example here. We have the structure right here, OH, always with an alcohol. We have NaH as our reagent. That's not good to use, but we're going to use it. We have iodide primary, so it works. Hydrogen goes, negative charge, grabs the hydrogen, kicks off, and gives electrons to oxygen. Oxygen has a negative charge. The iodide comes in. Oxygen goes and grabs the carbon, kicks off the iodide, and we have a structure with if an ether. This is a... Uh, it, it, it equals an ether right here what we have. And this works with a byproduct of iodide. 